A few years back, all the police at that police funeral, they all turned their backs on the mayor. The mayor was addressing the NYPD and they in unison turned their backs to him to show that they didn't appreciate him not having their backs. Shortly after that, the mayor came to the bedside of an officer who had been shot. What was strange was this was the first time the mayor had come to an officer's bedside who had been shot in a while. They sent me up to the officer's father's house. I set my phone to record, jumped out of my car, ran to the front door and door knocked. He opened the door right back up. He was very nice. And I asked, was your son happy to see at Lazio, did you know what he say afterwards? And he said something along the lines of, you know, he wasn't too happy to see the mayor. He wasn't too happy about the visit, I think is what he said. And he shook his head like no. After he said those things that I had on audio, I said, just to make sure, um, so you're you're like uh Joe Dossi, right? D O S S I and he was like, Yeah, that's that's how you spell Dossi and I said, Is it Joe or Joseph? Whatever it was, it was confirming who he was again on the audio, making sure moments after we put the story up, and I mean moments. DCPI and a few other agencies from the NYPD apparently contacted us saying he never said that. We have we have confirmation he never said that. And I had to email that audio file and say, here's him saying it to us. Here's the timestamp. It's actually all in the digital file. Now we couldn't have done that story. We couldn't have used that quote unless we were 100% sure that we had that. So reporting in the field has its own set of challenges. When you're doing interviews live in person, a lot of the time people don't have a chance to think through exactly what they they should say or they want to say. It's not scripted, it's live. And you're going to get really what the person's thinking and feeling at that moment in a kind of unfiltered way, which is fantastic for the story. Unfortunately, sometimes when they see that in print, they have regrets and their first instinct is to say, I never said that. That's where recording techniques that we use come in very handy. We need to take excellent notes. We need to be able to easily find the notes from that day, from that interview at a moment's notice. We also, in the last five years or so, we're getting really heavy into video recording. We've always been into audio recording as backup for a lot of these interviews. The audio recordings really become invaluable when you have someone who says, I never said that. Unfortunately, this happens. And as a reporter, you have to be ready for it. You have to be 100% confident in that any quote you're using for a story, you have the backup. In New York, which is where we are, this is what's known as a one-party state. One party in the conversation has to be aware that the recording is happening. And that would be me. I am the party who's aware that the recording is happening. There are other states that are two-party states where you have to let the other person know that you, know, you are being recorded. I would say 99% of the time, I point to my phone in my press pocket and say, I'm recording audio just so in case, you know, I don't get everything you say, I, I can refer to it back later. Investigative reporting is not getting someone to say what they want to say. A lot of the time, investigative journalism is getting someone to say something that is true, but is not something they want everybody to know. And that's difficult. And sometimes when you accomplish that, when you get the truth out of someone, the truth that, you know, later on they might think to themselves, that's not such a great thing that that got out there. It's not such a great thing for me that that got out there. Well, then it's too late. It's out there. But, you know, they're going to say, I never said that. That's where these techniques and these systems that we have in place are, are indispensable. You need to be able to back up every bit of reporting that you do.